Hi, good morning. Welcome to the Sports Review segment of Breakfast Daily. My name is Nathan Carr. Good morning to Freeman and good morning to Kweku. How are you doing? We're good morning, doing well. Nathan. We are doing well. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm feeling Great. far better than some people are feeling right now. Well, well we can I mean, imagine. It looks like there's a, there's a song that's prophetically appearing yes yeah yes it turns out that when black sheriff recorded uh, yeah. the second sermon we did not know what he was on to <laughs> but he was on to something the black is a prophet he know? is a prophet <laughs> a young prophet at like that because in that song he made a reference to kweku Frimpong bringing problems yeah well kweku Frimpong has brought a massive problem <laughs> well yeah well the big story for those who have been out of the country or whatever the biggest story in ghanaian football and that's where we start from ashanti gold and Inter Allies have been demoted to Division 2 of the Ghanaian footballing pyramid. Why? The GFA found the two clubs guilty of match manipulation. Hmm. Now, this said incident happened in week 34 of last season's Premier League campaign. It happened on the 19th of July 2021. It was the final day of the league season. And Ash Gold's 7-0 scoreline against Inter Allies was later found to have been predetermined by the two clubs players and some officials and so that's why the gfa handed out the heavy punishment to the two clubs now 13 inter allies players have been banned for 24 months while 14 ash gold players have been given the same punishment richmond lamte who used to play for um inter allies but has gone to asante kotoko he was given a very heavy ban of, a th of 30 months ash gold ceo uh, dr kweku frimpon was given a 10-year ban from football um from um, the game so uh, in terms of all footballing activity so that's what's happened to the two teams the punishments have been laid out now let's have a look at the list of players or officials who have been banned there you have it properly detailed by the good people wow. of the city sports desk there six months banned to Hashmin Musa now Hashmin Musa's role in this hmm. is very important I'll get to that in a second okay the set or say Samed Mohammed and Richmond Lamte have been given 30 man bans and all the others uh, have 24 man ban Fad Ibrahim of Inter Allies is a player that he's been given a 36 month ban with uh, Dr. Fuimpon, CEO yeah. of Ash Gold, getting Ten a 10 years. year ban from <laughs> all footballing activities. Now, in addition wow. to the bans and all, both clubs have been slapped with a 100,000 CD fine each. Oh. So they have okay. to pay those fines to the GFA. Um, so, so that really is the story in terms of the punishment and all of that that's been handed out to Inter Allies and Asante Kotoko as clubs and setting players and officials mm. of the two teams. Now, I mentioned Hashmin Musa. He got, of all the bans, if our viewers would take note, he got only a six-month ban. Yeah. Now, why did he get a six-month ban? Now, this is the story. Now, of all the players involved, he was one of two who had heard of a plot mm. to the, for the two teams to play out a certain predetermined 5-1 result. Okay. Inter Allies had been relegated. Ash Gold were safe. They didn't need their points for anything. But the reason why the game was called into question was that prior to the game, there had been mm. rumors of the two teams agreeing to play out a certain scoreline, mm. you know, and pay the investigation for betting purposes. Some okay. people had gone to place a bet on that scoreline, 5-1, oh. right? So mm. in the third game, Ashanti Gold had scored five. Yeah. And they were trying to work it for Inter Allies to score one when Hashmin Musa was brought into the game by Felix Abwaji, who himself has been banned. He's their Inter Allies head coach. Hashmin Musa gets introduced into the game. One of the first things he does is to score an own goal, to make it 6 0, <laughs> thereby destroying the predetermined bet. Oh. Then he scores another own goal to make sure that the bet is dead and buried. Oh, wow. So it became 7 0. Not everybody was happy because they had already worked out a 5-1 scoreline <laughs> and Hashmin Musa destroyed everything. No, 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 wait, I, so then why then does he also get... Now, the, the reason why he gets punished yeah. by the FA is that the FA punished him because they said when he heard of the plot, he should have informed the FA, but he decided to take the law into his own hands. So they've punished him. Now, Hashmin Musa currently plays in Niger. Mm. So the FA will write to FIFA. FIFA will write to the Nigerian FA and they'll effect the ban in that country. But the FA admits that by doing what he did, he did destroy the bet. So he got the least of all the bans, which mm. was a six-month ban. But wow. Nathan, so how was this done? You know, who and who met to have this conversation? <laughs> because I understand even before the match began, there were people who mm. actually chanting 5-1-5. Well, yeah, yeah, several officials, my colleague Benjamin Nikita will be here. 
a little later with all the juice. Okay, so all right. No, I'm really <laughs> but that was really that, <laughs> that's that's no. the story. No. They do now. No. 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 What kind of thing? For, for viewers, you can visit City Sports online. We have the two stories, the several stories. But okay. just look for the two stories detailing the bands, and then you find the link to the full ruling. One, the Ashgold ruling is 27 pages. The entire Allies ruling is about 25 pages. Just take your time and read the ruling. It's a very interesting ruling, <laughs> and it details how this entire thing was put together by players and officials of the two clubs. Sad stuff there. No. But let's stay, let's stay with the story. I'll come to okay. you. No, no, but, but, but you know, if this is supposed to be a movie, I think the title should be Much Ado About Nothing. <laughs> because, you know, with all the work you put in, and this is what happened, yeah, you know, so yeah. it went around, the Lord, the Lord nothing happened. And Monty, he yeah. got a 30-month ban. Now, as of the time it happened, he used to play for Inter Allies. He now plays for Asante Kotoko. Ah. Now, the club has issued a statement, and they say they will back the player. They will support him until what they, term, what they say is a final determination, meaning that they are possibly hinting at going through an appeal process. So, Richmond Lamte, he's been given his punishment, but Asante Kotoko said they will stand by him they will support him until this matter is fully settled mm. and they know that he's properly guilty or, and stuff like that. So that's the story from As the Asante Kotoko. You know, they, they are showing solidarity Absolutely. and showing support for one of their own. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I think that... Okay, let me ask you, Nathan. Yes. How big is this... Scandal? Uh, no, the, this decision in terms of trying to restore the image of Ghana football? It, it will only be big if we see a lot more of these happening. Mm. You can have a one-off. Many years ago, we had the Narnia 31 mil, yes. 29 mil yeah. episode. Yeah. Things really did not change. The only big change that happened was that the GFA stopped determining head-to-head -head based on goal difference and they moved to head-to-head. -to -head. Okay? You understand? They moved it to head to head. Mm. So it can only get big if yeah. we start to see a repetition of these bands. Mm. But we'll get to that a little later. Like I yeah. said, you, you dive into it a little later. Let's move on to the Premier League and Arsenal. Uh, they played Newcastle. Now they were hoping to win and keep the heat on Tottenham Hotspur in terms of the top four hands. It didn't happen. Newcastle beat Arsenal by two goals. Zero. Ben White scored an own goal and Bruno Guimaraes made it 2-0 to leave Arsenal behind Spurs two points away with only one game left in the Premier League. Arsenal are fifth, <clears throat> Spurs are fourth, and for Spurs, it's simple. If they avoid defeat over the weekend against Norwich, they've uh, taken that final Champions League spot, and Arsenal will have to look on from the outside. Nathan, I don't understand. Arsenal had this top four <clears throat> in their grips. Yes. They beat Chelsea, I mean, how? West Ham, that was. Man United. No, all okay, maybe Samens will come and explain. I, mean, I think Samens will have answers. You and come they, and explain they, to they're us. He's giving it away. Yeah. So. Well, whether he joins us today away. or not, he has to write to us. He has to write to us and explain. explain. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the result from um, last night's Premier League. Mm. Arsenal lost 2 0. They are on 66 points. Spurs on 68 with one game left Ouch. in the season. So, Arsenal are hoping against hope. That Norwich will beat Spurs and they will win the game. And how is game. Norwich going to beat Spurs? It won't happen, you know. Arsenal, I mean, it won't happen. I mean, unless there's some kind of Norwich, magic. Norwich, you know? Norwich, uh, they are already uh, relegated, so yeah. they may play without pressure. No, we never know. But Arsenal are hoping against. But right now, their top four destiny is not in their hands anymore. Mm. It's not. But later tonight, uh, Liverpool, they are also hoping that they can yeah. claw back yeah. and be one point yeah. behind uh, Man City. So Liverpool plays oh. Southampton later tonight but they have two injury concerns Virgil van Dijk and Mohamed Salah will not play tonight I'm sure they have minor injuries but they are being rested because it's a Champions League final to be played no, actually actually please explain to her that it's not it's not actually injury concerns in that sense yes that we works. are resting there for precautionary two measures whatever yeah. is he playing most are like no no we're actually dropped no the team we, you know you know you know our team is so deep that we don't need to play everybody every month. Southampton, you know, they are not a walk in the park, but I mean, really, I mean, the park is quite big, so we are going for a walk. So, yeah, that, well. game, that game is on. Southampton versus Liverpool. It will be live on City Night 7. So, join the guys from about 6.45 or so. And that game kicks off at 7 p.m. Southampton versus Liverpool. Liverpool hoping to win to close the gap on Man City. And then it all goes down this weekend. Final day of the Premier League. We'll see who wins the title, who finishes top four, who gets relegated finally. I and think City, City should win it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's yours to lose position. anyway. You think? Yeah, it's yours to lose. Look, listen, 
We, Why do I even feel we, I'm wearing Chelsea colour We already have two cups, right? We're getting a third. You guys need one. For all your efforts. I mean, Pep would look really terrible if you guys didn't win anything. So <laughs> make sure you don't lose. It's yours to lose. This is Breakfast Daily. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> we'll see you later. Yeah, right, After the cocoa format, I will visit it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll get well, it. We need to <laughs> sit, you know, yes. break bottles yeah. and think about Ghana football, man. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nathan. All this right. Breakfast Daily will be right back.